right, Algebra 1, Lesson 3. This one is on perimeter and circumference. Now, let's talk about per what perimeter means. Perimeter is um, basically, uh, I like the way they say it because it's using Greek references. Peri means around and metron means measure. So perimeter means the measure around something. So, for example, let's take this kind of different picture, different shape. And we're going to figure out the distance around. Now, this is not talking about the area of what's on the inside. It's talking about the distance around, just so you know. Now, it gives me a few numbers. So if you want to draw this on your paper, go on and do so. And put these numbers on the side. Okay. Now, I have most of the measures. Like I know this side is 5, this is 4, this is 3, this is 9. But it does not tell me this, this, um, this, or this. So just two. It's just missing two measures. Okay? So we can look up here and over here to see if we have any clues to tell us what the missing measures are. Now, if I'm missing a measure right here, then it's likely going to be using the parallel to determine um, what part is missing. So if from here to here is 15, okay, we don't know exactly what from here to here is, but the other parallel lines up here, we know that this one is 4 and this one is 3. So 4 and 3 would be like here to here would be 4, and about right here would be 3. You see how this is 3 and this is 4, okay? Now, then what is this? Well, we know this whole thing is 15, so then we know that this plus this plus this should equal 15. So 4 plus 3 is 7, <coughs> and then 8 and 7 make a total 15. So this spot right here is 8, and this spot here is 8. So 3 plus 8 plus 4 equals a total of 15, okay? So those were used to help us. Now we have the length of almost everyone, all right? Now let's look at this 9. From here to here is 9, so guess what? From here to here is 9. Okay, now we have exactly all the measures that we need. So, now we just measure the distance around it, okay? So, we would add 15 plus 9 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 3 plus 9, and we would get 58 inches, okay? Since this is inches we're working with, it would have been 58 inches inches. Okay? So it's just a quick review on perimeter. Now let's look at circumference. Make sure you're writing down what perimeter means and then let's talk about what circumference means. Circumference. Now, we use the term circumference when we're trying to find the distance around a circle. Now, when we are finding a distance around a rectangle, even that funky shape we just did, that's called perimeter, the distance around. But when it does not have corners like that, and it's just a circle, finding the perimeter is actually called the circumference for a circle. So I'm trying to find the distance from this spot all the way around to this spot. That's the circumference. Now, in math, we have an easy way to do that. Okay? Circumference, which I'm going to use as a C. C, the circumference is, the formula, is pi times d. Now, pi, I hope you remember, is we're just going to use 3.14, but pi is actually an irrational number, which means it literally keeps going on and on and on and on and on forever. Okay? It doesn't, keep, it doesn't stop after a certain number. So we're going to stop after the second number and just say that it's 3.14, okay? So that's what pi is in math. Now, the diameter is what we're going to multiply 3.14 times the diameter to get our circumference. Now, let me do a quick, quick review. Hopefully you remember from the center point out to the edge of the circle is called the radius. Hopefully you remember that. Now, I could put the radius here, I could put the radius here, it doesn't matter. The radius is the center of the circle, 
to the edge of the circle, okay? That's radius, okay? So if I go all the way across from edge to edge, it's called diameter, okay? So if my radius was three, then my diameter would be six, three plus three, okay? So if this was, if I was trying to find the circumference or perimeter of this circle, then I would do pi times D. So 3.14 times diameter is my D, six. So I take 3.14 times six and I'm gonna end up getting like 18.83, something like that, okay? So I would say my circumference is 18.83 and if it was in inches or whatever, this one happens to be, um, actually it doesn't list on this one, um, but let's just say it was feet. So then I would just say 18.83 feet, okay? So that was that is how we do circumference. Um, you may want to write down, some people like to put circumference all the way around their circle to show that it's the distance around. And you can do that. Now, another thing, you need to memorize this. It's going to be ACT, SATs, you're just going to need to know that. All these formulas that you're learning for area, circumference, whatever, you're going to need to know. So, um, another way that you can do it is to say that C equals 2 pi r. And that basically just means two radiuses. Radius is 3, and so 3 times 2 would make 6. So, it's pretty much the same things, but some people like to use this formula instead. 2 times pi times radius. And that just basically multiplies the radius twice, which is what we're doing anyway, because 3 times 2, there's two of them, is 6. So either one's fine to memorize. It's good to know both, because eventually you'll use them both for different scenarios, if you just have a radius, etc. All right, now let's do a few trials with some of the ones that they've given us on here. Um... Actually, I just did example 3.2. Now let's do example 3.3. It tells me, it's going to give me the answer, okay? It tells me that the circumference around the circle is 24 meters, okay? And now they're wanting me to find the radius of the circle. So this one was a little bit different. They went on and told us the answer to the circumference, and now we have to discover the radius. Now, remember that C equals pi times D, or C equals pi times 2R, or you could say 2 pi R. Either way, anytime you multiply, you can move the numbers and letters around, okay? So, I'm going to leave those up there for just a minute. And because they're asking us to find the radius, I'm going to use this one, okay? So, watch what I do. C, I know that my circumference is 24 meters. So I'm going to put 24 meters. That's my circumference. Equals, I'm just entering the numbers in. Pi, which is 3.14, times 2, pi times 2, times R. Now, we don't know what R is, but we're going to discover. Okay? So now I take and go 3.12 times 3.14 times 2, and I end up getting 6.28, and then I've still got my times R right here, okay? 6.28 times R, so I just answered that, equals 24 meters, okay? So now I'm asking myself, 6.28 times what equals 24? And hopefully you remember that you're going to need to divide on this one. We're going to take 24 meters divided by, I'm going to take off the M until the end, divided by 6.28. Hopefully you remember this, and hopefully you also remember that you need to make this into a whole number. Okay, so I took 6.28 right here, times what equals the 24. Now, because I moved it two spots to the right, I'm also, remember there's a decimal at the end of every number, even if you can't see it. We're going to go 1, 2, okay? I'm going to bring my decimal up, and then I'm going to work my problem. 628 goes into 2400 
and I'm just going to go in and cheat just cause, so we can move with time. It ends up being 3 point and then 82. And I don't have right room to write that out. 3.82 meters. So the radius would be 3.82 meters. Okay? So that is how you would discover using what we know, the circumference, but what we don't know, the radius. So R equals 3.82. Okay? Now, let's go a little bit deeper. All right? We're going to kind of combine two lessons. One that I just taught you earlier, and then one that I just taught you just now. Okay? So here's the picture that they've got us right here. All right? Um, and they tell me that all the corners are square. Okay? And then they also tell me that this is 10. And then they tell me from here to here is 3. So, Hopefully you recognize that this is a half circle. Do you see that? That's a half circle. Okay? Now that's important for you to notice. Um, we're going to discover something in just a minute. So, what I want you to do is we're going to first find the perimeter. Remember, the perimeter is the distance around an object that has corners. Okay? So we're going to go from here to here to here and find the distance around it. Okay, now we're not finding the inside, that's area. We're finding the perimeter around it and then the circumference of half. Now we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, so if this is 10, then I know that this is 10. But can I figure out this? Yes, using this 3. That tells me that from this middle point to any part of the circle is 3. So from here to here is 3 and here to here is 3. So 3 and 3 make 6. See that? So I know that this is 10, 6, and 10. So, so far, the perimeter is 10 plus 10 plus 6, which is 26, and this is in inches. So far, this is 26 inches. Now, now I need to figure out what's the perimeter or circumference of here to here. Now, remember when you're finding circumference, you're going to do C equals pi times D. Remember that? Now, but we're not finding the distance of a whole circle, are we? We're only finding half. So we're going to take and divide it by 2 because we're only needing half of it. Okay? So C equals pi D, or you could use 2 pi R. That's fine as well. Okay? So what would the diameter be here? Well, if this is 3 and this is 3, then that's 6. So this is 3.14 times... 6. When you see letters next to each other, it means you're going to multiply or even pi times D. That means multiply. So 3.14 times 6, which is going to give us something around 18.84, something like that, divided by 2. So let me see. I'm going to write that down, and that's going to end up giving being 9.42 inches. Once I take the 18 and divide it by 2, it's going to give me 9. So the circumference of here to here is 9.42 inches. So now I take this 10, 6, and 10, which we know equals 26, plus this 9.42, and we get a total when we add those together, the 26 plus that, we <clears throat> get a total of 35.42 inches. Okay? Hopefully you see that. All right, let's do one more. It's a little bit tougher, just so you'll be very well prepared. And this one's going to be a little funky looking <laughs> shape. Okay. Hopefully you notice that we have a portion. Now I'm going to erase this. This for just a minute. Okay? So basically what we're finding is they're going to give me, I'm going to put a dotted line right there just because that's the way the book does it. It may help you visualize and see that. Okay? Now let me go ahead and insert the numbers and you can do so as well on your paper. Okay. Now, 
This is asking not for the inside. This is asking the outside. They want us to find, here's what it says, find the perimeter of this figure. Dimensions are in feet. That's what it says. And so <clears throat> we want to find the perimeter. Well, we know from here to here is 14. From here to here is 10. And then we know this little piece right here from here to here is 6. So if we just added that up, 14 and 6 is 20 plus 10. We've got 30 feet so far just in the straight edge parts. Okay? <clears throat> but now let's find the circumference half of that and the circumference half of that. All right, because remember, we're not finding a whole circle, we're just finding half. Now, see if there's anything else they're giving me. No, it's not. Okay, so how do I find the circumference, the distance around a circle? Circumference equals pi times d. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go circumference, and I'm going to take pi times d, but I'm only wanting half the circle, so I'm putting half. And make sure you're paying attention to write in your formula exactly what you want to do so that you're making sure you follow every step. All right? So you're going to take pi times d, which in this case, um, let's work on this one first. Diameter, this is the radius, 4, so the diameter would be 8. Now, let's go on and do 2 pi r, just because we're using the radius a lot. Um, okay? So 2 times pi times r. So 2 times 3.14 is what we're using for pi, times r. And my r is 4. Now, because we're only wanting half, we're going to put it divided by 2. So, when I multiply this, and you can multiply these in any order, I'm going to go 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. So that's going to be 24 point something divided by 2. I'm not going to do the math, just to save time. It's going to be in, end up being um, 24 point something divided by 2, which ends up being, when you divide it by 2, 12.56 feet. <clears throat> okay, so from here to here is 12.56, okay? So we know this, 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 but we don't know this, okay? Let's figure it out. C equals 2 pi r. Okay, C equals 2 times 3.14 is pi, R is 5, but we're not finding a whole circle, we're only finding half, so we're dividing it by 2. And when I do that, I get 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 3.4, which equals 31.4, and then you divide that by 2, I'm going to end up doing, getting 15.7 feet. So my circumference for this spot from here to here is 15.7 feet. So now I take, I already know that this, this, and this is 30, plus the 12.56, plus the 15.7 feet, I end up getting a total of 58.26 once I do all the adding of those portions. Okay? So that is lesson... Three.